Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for joining us on Let's Chat Survivor, where we'll be talking about episode three, We've Got a Rat. Now, we are um, going to go ahead and get through episode three uh, today. Um, we're going to go through pretty quickly, and um, but beforehand, we're going to go ahead and, and introduce myself. My name is Saul, and you can find me at Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, um, at, at Perspective, and with, my, with me is my co-host, Mark. Mark, where can we find you? Uh, hello, I'm Mark, and you can find me on Twitter at MarkoPolo310. And hello to my friends here on, on um, Periscope. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, live Periscoping while, while we're doing the show. And um, like I said, we're going to talk about episode three, which was a, a great episode. Um, be- any thoughts before we actually get into details of the episode? Um, first things first, let's uh, have a moment of silence for, for our good friend Paige G. Law. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think I cried a little bit after the episode. When the episode ended, I'm like, mm, "This is, this is not good." Yeah, and I took my first hit on my on my fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was a uh, it was a bad episode for for our our girl there, but um, uh, yeah, yeah. we still got a, quite a bit of people that we like that is um, that can still make it. So let's yeah. go ahead and uh, talk about what happened this week. And we start out the episode pretty, pretty quickly with with um, Takeo, where everybody's just talking about what's what's just happened um, with taking out um, Shireen and yeah. Shireen. And we have what do we have. We have uh, Terry talking about how he is excited that even if he doesn't win the game, he actually has a feather in his hat now. He's got a feather in his hat because he was able to take out one of the most strategic players um, that he he knows about right now, which is Shirin. Which um, what what do you think? Do you, do you think that he would have targeted her if not for what he thinks? He he just wants to add to his collection, pretty much. I think as far as strategic players on Takeo goes, Shirin might not be as big of a target as they might have thought. But she's kind of out there, kind of talking about stuff, kind of, kind of, kind of doing stuff, and and so she was the clear target of the two. I think her her nerdiness, her geekiness about Survivor really got got the best of her in this case because it um, if it weren't for that, I don't think she. I think if she was, it was real, real strategic. She would have noticed what she was doing, and she would have held back throughout the first two episodes. So I mean, yeah. it, I mean that's Terry, you know. Um, Terry is happy. <laughs> he says that he has a social game now, which he I think he's he's a, had a better social game from last time, but um, it's not the best still. It's still it's still it's still average, I guess uh, at, at best. So we get we get that everybody's happy, you know. Everybody's happy about the tribes. We we see them go congregate like they're gonna go into into a challenge and you know i was like oh great a, a, a um a first a reward challenge i like the two challenges on, uh, per episode but we it's hard to get them when there's 20 yeah. people it's, it's it's still too early for for two challenges for mm-hmm. uh a reward and uh immunity challenge and somebody on Persco wanted me to say hello to brazil hello brazil <laughs> thank you for watching <laughs> oh brazil <laughs> oh brazil thank you for sending us a treasure <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so we're, we get this we get these the tribes and you know you know something's gonna happen when jeff starts asking you what do you how do you feel do you feel comfortable do you feel like that something's gonna come up and i don't think anybody yeah. really saw it coming because that's really early in the game and he says how do you what? guys feel what did cast cast said what is it the love tribe <laughs> it's a love it's a love tribe yeah uh, but but I think everybody had their stuff with them, so yeah, something that's... or someone told them to have their stuff ready, and I think they might have seen it coming. But I don't know if it's like just a regular two tribe tribe swap, or they might have even foreseen like like a two to three tribe like shuffle. So did, I didn't I didn't even pay attention to that. They did have their their possessions in, with them. They did have their 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 bags with them. Wow, I didn't even notice that, and that, which was interesting because we were going to be like, how was Kelly going to go back and get her idol in case she she left? She the tribe? she actually got lucky because she didn't get swapped to a new beach. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
In oh, fact, she uh, hit it. Yeah. People, yeah, people, people ask her on Twitter if uh, what would have happened if she got swapped to New Beach, and she said, "I, I don't know." <laughs> I think, I think uh, production would have had to like take it with, give it to her. I mean, yeah, production might have just had to like, like mm -hmm. just, just shuffle it over. Yeah, they would. They, I would think they would have to. But you know, and and this is not our normal uh, tribe swap. This is something no. different. Uh, we're both wearing our uh, yellow Angkor buff, um, to which which is the the twist this this year this year, in which they will actually go from two tribes to three tribes. Um, it's not really a switch. It's not. Re it's it's people were saying it's a tribe expansion. Um, because it, we're adding a third tribe, we're evenly yeah. spreading them to, with um, to eighteen, and th this is what I was talking to you beforehand. Is I mm -hmm. think they're going to do it after the first two episodes because if they waited for another way to evenly distribute the tribes, it was going to be at fifteen, and it was going to be way too small of tribes. Five tri five people tribes is just way too small at that time already. It's better to yeah. do them at six, where it, at least you'll give two tribes the chance to go to the tribal and leave one tribe at six. The um, thing is, the thing is, um, now that we've got three tribes at six each, uh, when do you think we'll go back to two tribes? I don't think they're well. There were there were some numbers being thrown out out there. <laughs> will they By, will they go back to two yeah. tribes? I think they will go back to two tribes before they they just go ahead and and, and shove all three into one merged tribe. Because I remember so. in. Um, all stars when there was three tribes it was at episode three episode four when mm -hmm. they went back they, they dissolved them and went into two tribes so the were about the same amount of people so i don't know um but it makes sense that they would go ahead and dissolve back into two tribes um so now we have like like we said we have a, a mix coming up of bayon Tekeo and now Angkor, who will join the, join in as a third tribe, who I think really got the shaft. Um, they, they had to start a brand new beach. I mean, nothing. <laughs> just just when you thought you you're all set up, and then you you draw this this new this new buff, and then you have to do everything all over again. You know, shelter, fire, water, blah blah blah. No materials. All, the whole nine mm -hmm. yards. <laughs> yeah, and um, the w the way they split up was um, Bayon. Now, well, first of all, before we, we get to that, we, the way that they did it, um, there's a lot a lot of people th that were talking conspiracy theory as far as how they got tribed, and we'll talk about it in afterwards. But um, yeah. they were to um, Jeff had a, like a what a, a platter of these little boxes. Um, yeah, they look like origami boxes with the buffs inside. It looks like somebody was about to like propose to someone <laughs> yeah. with those boxes. And <laughs> so the, everyone was randomly picking these boxes, and they had to um, open them up at, at the end, and they were gonna show the new buff. And what happens is the new Bayon tribe is Monica, Jeremy, Stephen Fishbuck, Kimmy, uh, Kelly Wigglesworth, and Spencer. And mm -hmm. the new Takeo tribe is Keith, Cass, Joe. Sierra, Terry, and Kelly Wentworth. Yep. And the brand new uh, tribe, Angkor, which is the one that got the shaft, <laughs> is uh, Andrew Savage, uh, Jeff Warner, Wu, Tasha, Peggy, and Abby Maria. And which ended up being 4-2, four, 4-2, two, four, two, four, two from the original tribes. Bayon and Takeo had four original Bayon and two Takeo, while Angkor had four original Takeo and two to Bayon, which is this is where the the whole conspiracy theory people were saying, um, how does it that they they were able to do that, and I don't know, um, I don't see I don't see them fixing it th in this one only because they has a random draw. Yeah. Uh, I don't see how they would be like, hey, you make sure you get this, make sure you get that, make sure that, um, unless I I know that they had different colors, unless they try to mess with like you can't choose this color if you're a guy, you can't choose this color if you're a girl, or whatever. Um, but I don't know, I I I felt it was pretty random. Uh, I, I feel like it was rendered enough uh, un unless, you know, somewhere on the box there's like like tiny writings of, of the contestants' names on the boxes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> well, you, you, you know, they, they didn't, some people weren't even looking, so. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so there's no way to fix this. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no way. Okay, so like we said, um, Anchor was going to have nothing. They're not going to have anything to start with. No, no building materials, no food. It's really bad at Anchor. And, uh, well, before we talk to that, 
did, were you surprised there was no challenge at that point at all that they just let him walk away um yes and no um i'm not surprised because they they have to let they ha they have to give anchor tribe some time to set up camp and and I think that was going to be part of a big part of the episode as well. So, especially with who they ended up with, <laughs> well, well, <laughs> in, in the Anchor tribe. The only reason I'm surprised is that it um, didn't give them a chance to win food or something. All the other tribes have food. Anchor doesn't have food at this point. Um, Anchor had some basic supplies. Didn't didn't they have they? They didn't get any like rice or beans or anything. As, no? as far as I know, they they were saying that they didn't get anything. Damn. Like, they might have gotten a machete or a hatchet or something, but that's about it. Um, okay. And a pot or something, but. Wow. They okay. were saying they didn't get any food. They didn't get anything. Like that. So like yeah, Anchor is bad, and um, it's bad. We see while they're on the mat, before even the tribe switch, we see Savage already threat uh, threat. Uh, you know just already scared fearing the third tribe because we know his his um history with the third tribe in the outcast mm -hmm. twist is not it's not good you know yeah and afterwards he's just like oh man oh man it, and Var i think varner really I, I, I don't get it i don't get what he was freaking out about he, i think he loves playing survivor but he wants it to be really controlled he doesn't like surprises um, especially well, since it happens first time. Yeah, and, and Survivor is not a fair game. You yeah. have to be ready for change. You have to be ready for something to to, to happen, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, and even Varner was like, oh, this guy's getting on my nerves already. Um, and he was just like a Debbie Downer the whole beginning of the the whole time that the Angkor just got together. Yeah. Now, um, it's, it's funny because Wu gets them all together and said, please, guys, do not do anything crazy. Let's stick together. We have the numbers. And even Fiji says, I finally have the luxury of numbers. And um, we have quickly see Tasha um, talking to Savage about having to turn someone over and and that they would promise to take whoever they were to um, switch over to take them over to the merge. And, you know, uh, I think... Um, I think later on, Vern Varner is like, this is this is not really a a good thing to even try to do because there's we, you're gonna take us over to somewhere we're gonna get picked off, right? Yeah. So yeah, um, we go back to Takeo and it's um, a happy tribe, strong tribe. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think about Takeo's picks? I mean, we're not really picks, but the the draw of Takeo. Oh, they 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 have Joe. They have Joe. <laughs> They they have Joe and they have Sierra, which are two of the the, the strongest players, I think, physically yeah. and mentally. And Kelly Wentworth. And Kelly, who has who has an idol. Yeah. Um, well, they have Terry. Um, with, and they have Keith. With Keith, it doesn't look like much, but he was a he was a a, a force, or at least he won a couple of of challenges he, out he, there. He was he was an immunity beast uh, yeah. back towards the end of his season and. Yeah, I, I think they're they're pretty they're pretty set there. I mean you you, you can't do much worse than having Abby Maria on your tribe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Brazil. <laughs> Love you, Abby, but you know, you you're 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 no challenge beast and we, we all know that. You know that as well. <laughs> now what's interesting I think is that Wentworth was so fast <laughs> to kick uh Terry under the bus. And she had that little moment where she's doing the little kicking motion to t for Terry to get under the bus. bus. And yeah, but that'll only get her set for for one vote. If, if that's that's if they only go to one vote before the merge. No, she said that Terry either has an idol or was looking for the idol. Um, do you think? Did you ever get a chance to look at the video with Dalton Ross and Shireen? Uh, yes. Where Shireen basically says, "If you want to see the the video, that's in last week's um, link. Um, you'll, you'll see the the link, um, the video, the what I'm talking about, where Dalton Ross interviews Shireen with um, with Rob C. Yeah, and, I saw that. And she says that at the end of her of her getting voted out, before she left, she turned around and told everybody, Terry has the idol.' 
And everybody was freaking out and saying, how do you know? And he goes, just trust me, Terry has the idol. And this is a big no-no. That's what, And I think that's why they didn't show it on the, on, the, on the show, because you're not supposed to talk to anybody after you get voted off. Yeah. But she did this. And then we see Ke- Kelly saying, hey, well, he doesn't, I know it is he doesn't have the idol, but maybe I can use this as something I can say. And... Uh, when they do merge, then people can say, hey, well, Shireen told us he had the idol, so maybe it's true. You know? Just just to... I, I think she's using it as as something as... Um, it's a shield. Yeah. Um, it's, it, it's to get people off of her scent because yeah. she knows she has it yeah. and nobody else from Takeo has it. Yeah. And, and the thing is that everybody was saying that they're not sure if what Shireen was saying was, was true or not that she did that. But I, I think there has a little bit of truth because Kelly just jumped to that right away. So I think there is a little bit of truth there. Um, anything to say with about the new Takeo? Anything else? Um, it's it's a really peaceful tribe. Uh, <laughs> it seems that wherever Joe goes is peaceful, huh? <laughs> yeah, even 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 Cass is like nice and relaxed and and well, the show she'll she'll kick off. Eventually, oh, uh, but Cass is not, in love with Joe. Cass is huh? in love with Joe. Did you see the the hidden the hidden scenes or the deleted scenes? Oh, oh, yeah. She's in love with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> More joke, up, please. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not for us on TV, just for them over there. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so we move on to Bayon, um, and we talk. We see Spencer and and uh, Wigglesworth talk about the differences in the beaches. And um, I think they're really they're they're she's actually really panicking because she doesn't know what to do with these new people. Um, she has nobody there. She has connections with. And yeah, she didn't have to deal with a swap back in her season. No. That was season three, freaking season one. My gosh. Well, season three is when they 15. first did the first initial kind of swap. Yeah, so it wasn't until more cases that they did a of I think. Yeah. So so Wigglesworth never had to deal with this until right now and yeah. and she doesn't really know what to do and especially when they when Kelly and Spencer are going into a tribe where they are the minority and it's going to be tough to try to swing people over but uh somebody might be might be keen on that swapping over to their side who do you think that will be i think it might be Jeremy Jeremy. Well, yeah, because Jeremy talks about how he really likes Spencer after Spencer opens up to him, and I yeah. know everybody was talking about this already. That the the funny thing about Spencer opening up about to his about his feelings to somebody is about not being able to open up about his feelings to his girlfriend. Yeah. And but mm-hmm. I mean, Jeremy sincerely looked like he actually liked the talk he had with him. Um, I mean, it's a very personal topic that that Spencer shared with Jeremy and. I think Jeremy appreciates that from from Spencer, and I think he, out of respect, he wants to be able to try to keep Spencer around, just because he thinks he can trust Spencer a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, and and it's something that that Spencer had talked about changing his in his game because it almost got him voted out because he was yeah. all strate- strategy and no, no no personal game. So I think that came in the right moment for him. This tribal swap came in the right moment. He actually ends up in a tribe where he is with Steven. And I, I, as soon as I saw that happen, I'm like, ooh, this is the perfect moment for Steven to to get with somebody who is willing to play. And yeah. we know that Steven and, and, and Spencer are good friends um, because of the podcast that Steven has. And they didn't show us anything where they were talking, but that, that had to happen. There's, there's no way they didn't talk something. You know, um, I think we, we see we see Stephen trying to chop a coconut and saying, oh, I can't do this or whatever. And uh, that, that really freaked me out. I, I, I thought he was going to chop his fingers off. Uh, it was really scary. <laughs> oh, no, me. medevac. <laughs> Please don't medevac, Stephen. <laughs> no, let, let, let's try not to do that. But yeah. Um, so so I think I think um, the Bayon tribe is going to be, if anything, Will be from the first two original ones to KO or Bay- Bayon. I think Bayon's gonna be one where something might happen other than just a elimination of the other team. The other team. I, I, I think Bayon is also just kind of challenge strong because they have Jeremy Kelly and Spencer in in it. 
and they're, they're, I think they're pretty set. I don't think they're in any danger of going to another tribal council, unless they throw something. Which you never know. <laughs> you never know. So you we go know. back to Angkor, and it's raining, and uh, and Varner does not like this at all. Varner nope. does not like this. He is flicking off the air, and uh, everything. Everyone's starting to turn to think he's he's starting to lose it, but. You know, Tasha says she says I was one of the I was a part of one of the worst tribes in history of the game. So this right now I'm used to this. I know how what, what's going on, and she's able to pick up. And this is how smart she is. She's able to pick up something right away, and that there is resentment between Abby and and, and Paige. And I mean I don't think it's that hard to do it anyways. But she's able to pick it up right away, and she starts to work her way in. And she tells pretty much she tells Ivy Maria that um, we will guarantee you the numbers if you join up. Like this is what we're talking about earlier. If you join up with us, we will go ahead and take you the merge. They talk to Varner about this. They talk to to Fiji about this. And Varner is the one really says this doesn't this make sense. It's pretty much the the way that Terry was talking to to Sari back in in Panama. Yeah. And, and Sari was like, yeah. And then she was like, you're crazy. You don't have anything to offer me. Um, which in this case is a little bit more to offer because they are in the minority, um, but it's like saying we'll take you from eight to, I mean from eleven to ten. I mean, you're gonna make the merge, but we're gonna kill you afterwards. You know, we we'll slit your throat like like Steven mm -hmm. said. And um, Feiji was the first one that I noticed to say I'm open to anything. Yeah, because she really really wants Abby Maria gone, and it didn't help that little fight they had in the, when it was raining. Um, and it, it, it's it's just it's just something that's gonna happen between those two already. <laughs> oh God, I I can't believe, like like there are three tribes to draw, and the two of them drew the same buff to be in this crappy beach. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that they were on the same, I was like, no, not again. Oh Jesus, get her away from her. <laughs> and um, so yeah, that that's pretty much what's gonna be happening in Angkor. Pretty much for the rest of the episode is. Tasha and Savage really, really trying to convert one of these um, four to to vote with them. Yeah. Um, so we go back to Bayon and and we have Steven talking um, to Jeremy with with Spencer right there, um, saying hey, we have um we have unbeatable numbers, right? Mm -hmm. The only thing that can beat his numbers this is actually in in a confessional. Steven is saying we have unbeatable numbers. The only thing that can beat the numbers we have is an idol. It can throw a wrench in our alliance. It can send someone home, and then you never know what's gonna happen after that. So, we need to find the the idol as a group for the alliance. Yeah. And what do we see? What happens? Uh, the the Bion Four in the new Bion tribe. They went out. All four of them went out to search for the clue together, and somebody found it. Yeah, and remember, they don't know it's a clue yet. Um, yep. And we see all of them scavenging around. They they they're looking in the the obvious places where the idol will be. Um, yes. And even Stephen says it's somewhere obvious. It's just not obvious at the moment. And Jeremy um, is able to find it in a tree full of of leaves. Mm -hmm. And you know he um, he looks at it, and he's very confident that he can pull it off. Um, but did you notice right away? This is supposed to be a team idol. But he right away he said, "This is my idol." Did you notice that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's supposed to be your idol. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I don't blame him saying that because it's it's gonna save his life because he is a target. Yeah, and that's the way it's supposed to be played, and I don't blame him because that's the way you're supposed to play. It's a yeah. everyone for themselves, you know, and. Um, even though it's still early in the game, it's still but, early in the uh, game. As, I think as long as as long as nobody knows you have the idol, and you're, yeah. you're fine, yeah. Because then what happens is you start getting other situations where other people have had more than one idol altogether, and they try to use it all together. But you know the person who has it doesn't really relinquish the idol when they're supposed to. <laughs> they get yeah. either greedy or you know like why should I give you the the um, idol when I'm the one that found it. I mean, it's going to be interesting when eventually, hopefully, they both make it long enough where Jeremy and Kelly both sync up with, with 
with an idol each. I think that'll be very interesting because they they both came from the same season. Um, they 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 know each other, so yeah, it's it'll uh, it's, yeah, it'll be very interesting to see if they 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 try to hook up later. It's very interesting that both of them have the idol, and yep. um, I, I'm I'm really really hoping that I don't even know who who I want some who wants who I want to find the third idol now. Um, I like Tasha. I'm going for Tasha, but I really I'm a little scared for Varner. Um, he's one of my favorites right Me too. now. I mean, if anybody needs it now, it's either it's it's either Andrew or Jeff. It's either Savage or Jeff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, either of those two need to get the idol right now because it's. I think we can all call it right now. It's probably ninety-seven percent <laughs> Anchor going to the next tribal council. Yeah, especially so, with Abby there. Yeah, one of those two need to find it, it's just just to save their own hide, you know, and try to flip the numbers maybe a little bit. Yes. So at this point, we go. We switch over to the Minidia Idol. Um, Mark, uh, can you explain the the uh, challenge for us? Oh God, the challenge. Um, so basically, each of the three tribes has to drag this little cart thing through an obstacle course uh, picking up three chests on the way and at the end at the end of the obstacle course they need to open up the chest and complete uh, a three-tiered puzzle uh, from bottom to top and the first two tribes that complete this uh, will win immunity and the last team will go to tribal council and the uh, the hidden immunity idol is hidden on the third chest. Yes. Uh, so On every the back of the third chest. So every team has the three chests, and one thing people still, I don't know if they, they have explained it, that they haven't explained it in the, in the actual um, show, but a lot of people keep asking, well, if someone were to see Jeremy go for it, will the other teams be able to find it as well on their end? But it's supposed to not be there for the other teams if they didn't un unlock that clue, if they didn't find that clue. Yep. Um, so only, even if the, you can, yeah, you can only have the idol there when you, when somebody on your tribe finds that clue. Yes. So nobody else has an idol on their course besides Bayon. Yeah, and the camera is set up to where it's gonna be showing where where it's it's there on on the on the clue. So when the challenge starts, we see everybody take off, and it's it's pretty equal at the very beginning. Um, but you see you see where Jeremy if you see it right away where Jeremy gets on the first for the first um, chest. He's already in the upper right hand corner already. He's like he's already set himself up already, um, so that when it's time to do go for it, he can go for it without anybody really noticing. So, yeah. like I said, they they go ahead and take off, and um, Takeo takes the lead after a while, and after the second chest, but they still look, it still looks like they are they're still back to back. And they get to the third they get to the third chest, and when everybody is over here going for. The key, the key that's hanging off, you know, off where they're going for it. Jeremy right away um, takes it, takes to the to the chest, gets down on his knee, gets it, and put and and hides the idol. And by that time, they already got had the key. He gets back up and he starts to un untie the the chest. So it was a pretty dangerous situation for Jeremy as well because people were calling for him like Jeremy, get over here! What the hell are you doing? And yeah. and, and he's just like, wait a sec, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't get. Well, I, they don't know about the idol, so they can't say like he's going for the idol. But um, it was. They were like, "Hey, what are you doing over there?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be. I'll, I'll, I'm helping out. I'm over here with." The I think. I think. I think at least somebody was suspicious of what he was doing, but there's, um, there's gotta I think be Steven saw person. something. Yeah, Steven might have seen something, but um, I, I don't know. We we might not find out until the next episode. Yeah. Now, um, was there? Do you know if there was? Did they say that they couldn't start untying the chest until they had the key? Uh, I'm not quite sure about that one. I think that was one of the it, rules because yes. then they would be like, "Why? What are you? What? What are you over there for already?" Mm -hmm. um, and so yeah, so yeah, um, Takeo is the first one to the to the final chest. They open it. Anchor catches up, and. Actually, Anchor actually, uh, sorry, Takeo actually wins it first. Then Takeo and, and uh, Bayon get to get to the final chest. They open it up. 
Um, Bayon actually wins with Anchor losing at the very end. It was this. It was what this this um, this that circular um, puzzle. Yeah, it was a circular puzzle, and from and, and just just trying to. Yeah, the, this is the very first challenge in Survivor Kagayam: Brains versus Brawn versus Beauty. Uh, that um, all of Cass, uh, Spencer, and Tasha played. Mm -hmm. um, so, and and they they all they all lost that challenge. So. Very badly too. <laughs> very very badly. So so, uh, Probst even said it was it's going to be redemption for two of you and a, and a repeating nightmare for one of you. <laughs> Yeah. And and that came true for for poor Tasha because, gosh, trying to watch Wu work that puzzle oh. was just super super painful. He had this like this triangle shape <laughs> like um, up on, on there, and he didn't want to put it down. He, it's like he was trying to like do do this this this, this, this balancing act, and and I'm like, yeah. really 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 Wu, really? Yeah, it it really oh, uh, it's like put it. I think someone yelled at him. Put it down. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. So they hold, lose. You hold it there for. I mean. <laughs> you, you, oh God. I I can't even. I yeah. can't. So so they end up losing, and we get to the part where we get the title of this episode, and what 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 happened here? What? <laughs> Here's the thing. Um. Jeff uh, uh, Varner, Varner actually, his tribe lost the challenge, and then he tried, when the challenge finished, he tried to mouth something to Kelly Wigglesworth, and and Tasha saw it and jumped in, right in between the line of sight between Varner and Wigglesworth. Like, like we got a rat, blah 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 blah. Can't do that. I thought we were family. Blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think uh, Jeff was trying to do there? It it's kind of looks like he was trying to mouth a couple of words. It looked like names, and uh, the discussion out there is things that he is mouthing the words Kimmy and Monica. Do you join them? Or do you stick around I, with I them? Agree, I agree with Kimmy. I don't know about Monica. Well, I don't know because Monica, she 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 paired up with Russell, so you never know she, who she might be willing to to I mean, they, pair up with. <laughs> I mean, if they paired up before the game, then then great. Um, but Kelly wasn't Wigglesworth wasn't really in any sort of danger mm -hmm. where she needed to talk to these two in order to secure her safety. And she so, might be in danger now. She might be in danger now because does you know. Varner, you know, Tasha just put Varner and, and, and Wigglesworth on blast. And so Kelly might need to figure something out here. And we see, like you said, now. Tasha gets in the way of it. And goes, hey, we're, she pretty much, Varner's playing too hard. He And, you know, Probst is not going to let that go. He, he saw something, he's going to bring it up. Even if it's not trouble concert, he's going to bring it up. He calls it out yep. at, at the mat. She, uh, and Tasha points out what happened. They go back to camp. And you know, Savage at that point he's already starting to feel better about what, what happened with with Warner. He goes, he goes, maybe I'm not going to be out. Maybe this has caused something to where I will not go home. Uh, and I can see, I can see what he's saying because I mean, are the other three people are really are they going to be confident that that he's not trying to sway someone on the other tribe? But I don't see any upside of talking to someone that that's on a tribe that didn't lose. And we see them work on Abby Maria, and it really, really works on Abby Maria pretty quick. She doesn't trust Varner, even though Varner has been her guy in the yeah. first two episodes. Um, really, she's the one to say, "Okay, I'm, I'm voting for Varner." She's ready to vote for him, vote for, vote him out. Yeah, I mean, even after him kissing her ass for the last two episodes, it's, she, 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 all of a sudden, she wants Varner out. Yeah. The one person that wants to protect her. She she wants to vote out. Uh, yeah, and <laughs> immediate face palm mm -hmm. for me. And she, and she like I said, Abby says she'll talk. She'll work with with Savage. She'll work with Tosh. And then we see Veji talking to Savage and Tosh about getting Abby out. Mm -hmm. And Savage turns to Abby to vote Fiji Veji now. So 
do you think this was the best strategy for Savage and Tasha to get Feiji out instead of getting someone like Varner out? Um, I think either Paige or Varner would have been good, but if Abby's not willing to vote for Varner, then then there's nothing in much they can. There's not much they could do because if well, they that, vote for Varner, it would be a three, a two, 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 three way tie. Well, now remember, Abby was ready to get uh, Varner out. Savage is the one that goes to vote Feiji. Feiji wants to get you out. Now let's get her out. Or maybe it was a way to to make sure that the vote goes a certain way or something. Yeah. Um, I think I think Varner would have been the smarter choice, but you know, Paige would have been good as well because because Varner is Varner is a visible target. Varner is playing really hard, really fast, and people are starting to see it. As as with PG, she's she's a little bit of a slow burner, and she's she's getting in good with everyone. But Abby Maria, <laughs> <laughs> and and when she gets into a, a, a when she when she gets into merge, she's not going to be the physical threat that everybody's aiming at, and she's also not she, she's also having good relations with everyone, so that she's not targeted. Yeah. So, so uh, this is a good point to get her out, I think. Yeah, and and all this actually goes in it goes up into tribal council. They they're still talking about it. They start talking about what happened at, at the challenge. And, you know, Jeff gets really, I think, really, really cocky here where he, Jeff asks him if he thinks he if he's in danger going out. And Jeff was just like, wouldn't it be great if I didn't get any votes at all? So right here, I, I, I didn't like yes. what he said there. I knew what, what he was going to do already. It's really puzzling to me that he said that because, you know, he, he had like a big, long, big, long mental meltdown. After the challenge that we didn't see, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm kind of surprised that he was willing to say that, like after all that happened. Yeah, because he says that he blacked out. He he says he doesn't really remember doing the mouthing of the words to, to to um, Kimmy, I mean um, to uh, Kelly. Kelly, and he says that afterwards he went and and he we see him like kind of just passed passed out kind of while Abby Maria is talking to to Savage. And he hears when when Abby Maria is trying to get him voted out, but I don't know if he's still in that that moment where he's like dazed out and he doesn't um, know what he's doing at the time. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we, we we talk about that, and yeah. they talk about that, and Fiji and and um, Abby Maria really really just talk about why they should stay. Uh, Fiji says that she's she should stay because she's trustworthy and loyal. Abby Maria pretty much says the same thing, even though she's jumped around to different, <laughs> different uh, alliances in every single episode already. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that I do see, and I last last um, last week I had I had tweeted out that Varner. When each time I see Varner, I see the the Jeff father, the God, you know, the Godfather. Yeah. Um, and then, and I see a little bit more. In, in, I was already like, oh, he's gonna prove me wrong already. I just tweeted this and got a lot of tweets, got a, a retweets and favorites, you know. And then I'm, I'm gonna be being proved wrong because he didn't get voted out. But then I started seeing him. He started using. He started pulling the strings, even though S Savage and Tasha don't know what he's doing. He started pulling the strings on them again because he started saying, "Hey, this is not on my court. I'm giving it to them." And he he continue, he did it like three, I think two or three times, where he kept he kept saying, "This is not our game anymore. This is their game. This is their game. It's up to them. It's up to them." And I think it was really that's him just really playing up, playing to them. So that they won't vote for him. Does they vote that so that they will vote for for Feiji, and that's when he switches his vote to Feiji. So it's Savage, Tasha, Abby Maria, and Varner who vote for Feiji. Wu and Feiji vote for Abby Maria, and our girl is gone. <laughs> um, yeah, I wish she would have stayed longer, um, especially Feiji because she. Her and Jeff are, I think, the ones that are the most active on social media and interacting with everybody. Her, actually, Abby Maria is pretty active, but I don't. <laughs> She's always throwing shade at, at Feiji for the, for what happened there. Um, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, anything yeah. anything that I missed or, uh, in the tribal council? No, and and I I I think. 
I think the million dollar bracelet has claimed its final victim. The, the victim that it intended finally. to take. Finally. Maybe it was when he... On to, yeah, <laughs> and we move on to Hurricane Abbey. Yeah. I think it's what we needed, unfortunately, for Feiji to leave so that this bracelet can finally just leave yeah. the game. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately yeah. for Fiji, it was she she was the one that left and not not Abby Maria. Yeah. Um. Only last thing that I can really <laughs> think about is um, Abby Maria turning to Wu. You voted for me twice already. Oh God. Uh, oh, like oh no, no 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 no, and of course Wu with his uh, blindsided face again. In this case, it's not. This case, it, it, goat, it's not. Goat his versus fault. goat. Who's gonna win? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't. Uh, th in this particular case, I felt bad for Wu only because it was, it was at the cost of Heiji. Um But um, I don't think he there was. Ed Varner just played it, played it perfectly. He played to Tasha. He played to to Savage, and there was nothing that was gonna happen other than getting Feiji voted out at this at this tribal council. Now, do you think? They're they're gonna target. Do you think they're gonna target Jeff if they lose again, or or do you think they're they're actually gonna get rid of Abby, Abby Maria because she's just such a liability? Well, Jeff said it the other the other day. It's really really hard to. No, it was not. It was not even Jeff. It was uh, Spencer. It's really hard to put your game into someone's hands that you don't know how they're gonna react. You don't know how they're gonna right. go from day to day. Uh, she's already showed that she's jumped from alliance to alliance to alliance, and I have picked Abby Maria to go home the last two the last two weeks. Yeah, and I'm I don't know if I should pick her again. I <laughs> I don't want to to look like I'm just picking on her, but right now I have to jump off that boat already because I feel yeah. like she's starting to be the goat that everybody wants to take now. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to take that goat. Um, so I don't even know who who to, who to choose now. Who who do you think will will be going home this week? I mean, if my only choice is from the Angle Tribe, <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think I can only pick from them. Uh, if anybody is to go home, I pray to I pray to the gods. It's going to be Abby Maria. Now let's keep in mind though that. Abby Maria can still always jump back with Wu and for with Jeff. I doubt she'll work with with Wu though, because Wu is written her name twice. So for me and in, in my process of elimination, it has to be either Abby or Wu at this point. Abby I, or Wu? Yeah, because I don't see Anchor winning. They are still way too underpowered right now at this point to win, and it's either Abby or Wu. And but. I think Jeff might be able to sweet talk his way back into Abby Maria, and if that happens, then either Tasha or Andrew will be out. I'm gonna, Do you think that's gonna happen? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's too unpredictable. It's, Abby's too unpredictable. Um, yeah. I think I'll have to go with uh, I'll say I'll just say Wu trying to just throw that throw out there to see if I can get some points for getting <laughs> for okay. for guessing right because I've already I'm 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 gonna just stop picking Abby already because I picked her twice and it didn't happen I'll I'll go with Wu this week. You have a twenty um, point lead. You have a twenty point lead <laughs> on me. You, you need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, who do you think who do you think will go home? Are you picking Abby or? Uh... See, I, the thing is, we kind of know Abby's not going to go. That's the thing. That's that's what's really painful about this choice because... Someone has to use her. Are they going to smarten up soon enough to know that you there's no need, there's no use keeping a goat if you can't even get through this tribal phase? Yeah. So... I will take Abby Maria this week. Okay. So, um, or, you... or Savage. Because uh, <laughs> uh, if Jeff is able to swing Abby Maria back to his side, then it's going to be it's going to be Savage, or or Tasha. Ah, <laughs> oh. lock in your I answer. Uh, I'm I'm locking in Abby Maria. 
Every Marine. Okay. So can you catch us up on our fantasy points? Currently, Saul is sitting on 43 points because two of his members has the immunity idols. <laughs> and I have 23, 20 points behind. And I have to replace PG. Which cost? I, how many points did we cost to, to replace? Two points. Two points. <laughs> so I'm twenty. I'm 22 points behind you right now. <laughs> and for my replacement, I'm going to pick somebody nice and safe, and I'm going to say... Uh, but I also want to go with the Encore Tribe because they might find the idol. No, I'm going to go with Cass. I, I, I be, think, at the beginning of the season, I would have said Cass is not a good choice, but I think right now she's sitting pretty right now. Yeah, she. I, I just need somebody to to not get voted out, <laughs> and, and Cass <laughs> is not in any, any danger. Neither is Joe, though. No, Joe, come come tribal swap, uh, come come merge. He's he's gone, so I'm not yeah. I'm not going to waste my points on him. <laughs> All right, so you're going with Cass. I'm going to go with Cass. Okay. Um, anything um. We want to talk about before we wrap this up. Um, we love you, Peiji. Um, we <laughs> hope you come back for a third time, please. <laughs> yes. Make it and happen. Make it happen, probes. Let's make <laughs> it happen. <laughs> Let's start a hashtag. Bring back Peiji. Yes. You know. Yes. Okay. Um, well, yeah. Um, a lot of stuff happened this week. Ho hopefully, next week is is great. Um, episode four. Hopefully, it's gonna live up to what the first three weeks have have brought up. Um, other if, than hoping that yeah, if if Angkor goes goes back to Tribal Council, we know it's gonna be good. So yeah. So yeah. Um, final words. Um. Thank you for a great game, AG. We will see you <laughs> next time. Yeah, and. Um, I want to go ahead and thank everybody um, for joining us and uh, getting us our views on, on our, on our um, videos. Uh, yes. Once again, you can you can catch me at on Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube at Perspective. And Mark, uh, where can we find you? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Marco Polo three one zero. And you can actually see our our Twitter handles um, going right here on top. And um, so if you need some spelling there, or or, um, or if uh, you need to on the in the description below. So yeah, um, anything else um, that we need to talk about, you can tweet at us, and we'll be more than happy to get back at you. We'll see you guys next week. This thank you once again for for joining us on this chat survivor. All right, thank you guys. Got nothing for you. Get back to camp. <laughs>